events for the first time in a while. I've uh, not been playing it too much. It's trying to get back into it, you know. And uh, we are going to be excavating the city that I've been working on. Uh, we call it Province Underground. It is a kind of like a mini replica of, you know, Province, which is right above us. And uh, all the coordinates are exactly the same. Buildings are the exact same locations, you know, obviously other than height. Uh, but yeah, all of these buildings are directly beneath the uh, buildings that they're built off of uh, above Province. So yeah, uh, that's what we're going to be doing today. Uh, we might have some other people joining in. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be more or less another like chill stream, you know. Uh, not doing too much. Probably just going to be mining, more or less. And uh, finishing to clear up all this space here. Obviously, as you can see, uh, I'll give you a little bit of a mini tour, I guess. Let's see. We've got a lot of work has been done. Like over here, this is what we did yesterday. We mined out everything above us and uh, built this skyscraper down here. Uh, this has all been previously mined out. That as well. We got a skyscraper thing that's zoned to be put right here. This is going to be a skyscraper. Uh, so that's going to be a later project. We only got to get rid of a little bit of stone. But for now, I'm making it so... As you can see, there's some stone there when you look through this building. So it's just going to make it a little bit easier to see uh, through all the buildings and stuff. So when you come up, it's not stone. It's more like that. You know? uh, and yeah, so that's mainly what we're doing today. And feel free to join in, put comments in. Uh, probably definitely going to be going back to the uh, old streams where we actually you know, do major events with other players in province and stuff like that. But uh, for now, this is just going to be a little bit of working towards that and you know, me getting back into streaming, I guess. That's, that's more or less what it is. So, uh, yeah. Not much to say, I guess. Uh... I don't think we're going to have anyone in here for a while at least. We might have some uh, people joining in the province. But uh, yeah, it's going to be mainly me uh, digging this whole area out. We might have two or three other people that come in a little bit later in the stream. Uh, I might put time stamp to that if it does happen. Uh, that might help me out. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be relatively... A chill just mining stream so if you guys are coming back looking through the vods uh it's understandable if you skip this one uh we're not gonna be doing much but yeah uh let's see. hello liquid ghost i'm streaming right now yeah i literally just finished my intro that was I'm like, okay, we, it might be like an hour before someone joins. I'll put a timestamp until like people start joining the game, and that's like you joined. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah, I am currently digging out the province underground area. My stream chat is like excavating a city. <laughs> oh. oh, there's like not much left. Yeah, I've not been doing much on uh, Minecraft. I did. Yeah, I did. I think I did like a chill stream on like one or two days ago. And then, uh, but yeah, that was mainly the hive. I'm not sure if I've streamed on province in a while. Yeah, it's been like over like a few hundred, like yeah, probably over like a hundred days at least. Yep, laggier than ever. Especially with me streaming. Honestly, I swear to God, if anyone who's British joins the server or like anything even farther like like deep europe like we'll screw like i'm screwed bro, i'm not gonna lie like my playstation will just turn off <laughs> it's like british people and streaming and on minecraft world can't can't handle guys <laughs> oh my god 
it is honestly. I mean, it's really not that laggy right now. Uh, mainly all the people who've come back to province have been American. Thank God. Oh my God, the lag has been. Everyone who's joined the server has always either had a PlayStation Five or been American, so the lag wasn't that bad. But like, the second the British people catch on that, like I'm back on province, it's it's over. It's GG. Yeah, I'm gonna be like out here like one FPS. Oh, it's it's honest. I'm screwed, bro. If that happens, oh my god. Yep, crisp quality like a potato chip, bro. Where's the potato? Potato quality. That's that's what they say. That's good. The good the good stuff. Let's see. Where are you? Through a whole big wall. Okay, I'll be there. You mean like the anarchy wall? Yeah. Okay, just go to the spawn, go to like zero zero, and I'll be there in a second. And I can show you what's happening. Uh, do you mind if I just go to my house real quick and just drop off my entire inventory full of junk? I'm um, like already here. Oh, I mean, there's some stuff. To check. Okay. Uh, oh, that is not diver. Okay. Wow. I'm really blind. I just tried putting. Okay, there's an site. That's on a site. Did I say no? Sometimes it's kind of hard to see with this, but we can do it. I'm sure. Mushrooms. Wait, someone's bringing mushrooms down in the underground city? What the heck? Kind of sus, bro. Uh, coal. Hello. Uh, come on. I'll show you some of the stuff we've, uh, we've done. Yo, Crimson. Let's go. Uh, I'm just doing like a little recap stream, I guess, of what we've done. So, this is the uh, anarchy wall now. We've worked on replacing it. Put this like nice bridge area so you can get around easily. Uh, we are going to be draining this side soon. So, it's going to be like an actual dam. Uh, look at spawn. Looks so much better. Oh my god, it used to literally be a pile of random blocks. I flattened it. We're going to be putting a watchtower here, a building for, like, welcoming new players, and uh, some other stuff. And I also think, uh, you know, like, the roads of province, how some of them just kind of, like, end. I might actually have some of uh, the province network extend over here and start doing skyscrapers and stuff right near the anarchy. That'd be kind of cool. But, uh, yeah, I think there might, there probably gonna be some, like, really, uh, like, affordable, cheap housing right here. I might have, I think the real plan is I'm gonna have a rail station here that's gonna take people to wood and mining areas. And there's gonna be a small living area and, uh, yo, dog father, let's go. Uh, uh, but yeah, so there's gonna be, like, a welcome building for rules and it's gonna be a quick area to get to wood and stone. So all of the new players that joined will have, like, immediate access to get all this stuff. Oh. That's a lot of diamonds. Uh, I got, uh, follow me. So, well, yeah, I mean, I don't really need diamonds. I've got, like, a stack of diamond blocks. Uh, so, yeah, that's what we did on the anarchy area. I think you already saw what we did on the main road. We put some ice down so you can run a little bit faster, you know. It's just like a really trafficked area, you know, like, every player on the server walks this zone, so. What's that? Oh, you picked up the parrot. Uh, let's see. You've seen Province Underground, right?
Yeah, so this is where we're working. We're money at this. But over here, this is what we did a uh, ton of work on yesterday. Uh, oh, look up. We mined all of that yesterday. Oh, so much. And we built a skyscraper down here. But yeah. And yeah, so my stream is mainly... So far, my entire stream has just been mining this, which has only been a little bit. Yeah, I haven't been in Providence lately. I just started getting back into it, you know? I kind of want to take a break off Minecraft. It was getting a little boring. You know, I was kind of like running out of new ideas. And all my old projects were so big that they'd take like a team of people. So I was like, I'm just going to take a break, you know, enjoy all of the other games that I own. And then, you know, then I'll get back into it. You know what I'm saying? I just kind of want to enjoy like other games that I own, not just play Minecraft. Yeah, I know. A lot of people have been playing that. I haven't seen that. Uh, I have it. I also got Conan. It's pretty similar. Uh, it doesn't actually take that long to load. I don't know why. Uh, but pretty much as long as the British people st don't join the server, like it runs pretty good. Once British people join the server, it starts getting kind of laggy again, though. But I think it's this. Probably like Mysterio and Jamosu. They, they tank this world. But I mean, they're also like the rich people. So it's not like I can't say, like, don't join. But, you know, it's just kind of something we got to deal with, you know? When there's British people on the world, it's just going to be back here. That's just kind of a fact. <laughs> Lamau. <laughs> it's, I mean, what, what are you going to do about it, you know? I'm going to get rid of, like, the rich people on the server? No, I'm just going to. Everyone else just get to deal with the lag, you know what I'm saying? Maybe once they're poor, we'll ban it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's that's mainly what's been happening. Uh, my PlayStation, for some reason, is not capable. I'm pretty sure it's just because all the uh, old chunks haven't loaded in. So, please don't go look for new chunks. I mean, like, I know they've got cool blocks and stuff like that, but, like, just don't go, like, exploring randomly, because that makes it so much laggier. But, like, being in province and, like, looking for new chunks just destroys this the server. And those are, like, the two big things that I can't really deal with. Oh, you went up my... That's, like, my mini house replica. Uh... About a gigabyte, I think, or, like, 575. Something like that. It's been reduced. It used to be, like, 5 gigabytes... There must have been, like, some... Maybe there's, like, a change in, like, how Minecraft stores worlds in this update that makes it run better. Something. But, uh... Or maybe it's just me putting it back on a realm and pulling it off. The realm might have compressed it a little bit. Uh... Because the realms, they have a little bit less lag. But, either way, uh... It is... It's about halved in size-ish or so since we last played it. So, uh... I mean, it is running better. That's That's for sure. It's just, for how long does it run better? To be fair, though, I guess last time we played, I had gone at, like, over 100,000 blocks at one point. Now, I think... No, I made it a realm, and you uh, you make it a realm, and then uh, you download the world from realms, and uh, it makes it smaller, because realm, like, compresses it, I think. You know what I'm saying? So I just put it back on realms. My realms is expired. <laughs> uh, but, yeah... Yeah, it does make it run a bit better. What? Then you already have a house. Or do you want to buy one? How much money you got? You could probably easily afford one. No, yeah. Let me come up. Oh, I'll meet you up at like downtown. Huh? I mean, you've got like, like oh, almost like a hundred diamonds. It's literally the most expensive, uh, room you can buy in all of province. At least an apartment is thirty diamonds, and that's owned. So after that, the one they can still buy would be ten diamonds. So you quite literally could afford ten of the most expensive rooms on the server. Okay, well, I mean, for example, the blue diamond is at the highest end of cost. 
yeah, I am gonna be playing it more. I mean, it's summer now, so I don't have to deal with uh, exams. Yeah. So this is actually seven diamonds, just because this floor over here is damaged by the last guy who lived here before I ki uh, before I kicked him out. So if you put the blue wood back, I mean that's fine, but seven diamonds. Uh, if you do buy it, you'd eventually have to put the the wood back. I don't really know. I mean, just blue woods. So you'd have to mine like three logs of it in the Nether. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much the deal here. I mean, you can, it's got a fair bit of space. You know, you can see outside. Look at that. You're like really in the middle of things. It's like one of the original skyscrapers. It's like the second or third. I mean, this one and the red X were built at the same time. And then the first skyscraper is the old Chicago. But you can't actually live there. It's a business skyscraper. Yeah. Yeah, you did. Oh. What the? Hmm? No, cheats aren't on. We don't ever have cheats. This is still like a... Near look. No, nah, it's unpeaceful. Look, cheats still off. Oh yeah, turn cheats on on the copy worlds. To mess around with you guys, but like the actual world, though you don't know. This is, yeah, I mean it's called Province Season One. It's not copy of. If it was copy of Province Season One, then you might have like reason to be worried. But mm, I don't know. I think the whole thing about Province is like that. There's so much stuff already. You know what I'm saying? Do make a world border. Oh, no, I don't think we don't, I mean, we don't really need a world border. I'm just going to tell people not to try and explore. I mean, relatively try, if if something feels like it's too far away, then probably come back, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you're 80,000 blocks away, you've probably gone too far, considering, like, maybe, like, at most, I'd, I'd be, I'd be understanding of, like, 5,000 to 10,000 blocks away, but, like, Maybe. Depends on, like, what you're doing it for. Like, if you're, like, looking for, like, a rare biome, that'd make sense. But, like, if you're just going out to, like, mine five, ten thousand blocks away, like, you you can mine anywhere close, you know. Like, there's still, like, area to mine. What? That's Luna's thing. Uh, but, yeah. That's mainly all we've done last, like, three days. I've been back. Uh, so. Yeah, we had uh, a new player join, Exilter, and he bought a skyscraper. He bought the floor above you. Well, I mean the floor above the one I was showing you, if you still want to buy that one. And, uh, there, I mean, there's some other ones. Do you want me to show you some more? We can just do full real estate. <laughs> Free real estate. Uh, there's a few rooms that I can, uh... So pretty much there's also some skyscrapers that are quote-unquote unfinished, but it's more like no one was going to buy it, and how happened to Season 2? Well, Season 2, uh, a lot of the... Season 2 was actually kind of like a... I don't know, how do you say this? It was more of like a... like a Not as like an experiment, but like uh, 10, 15 players from like province, like the rich people, and we were just all doing just us, more or less. Uh, and everyone who played on that world had to stream. That was kind of a thing. It was everyone has to stream on Province Season Two, and I mean, there wasn't, there wasn't anything wrong with that actually. That was actually like the cool part. They can go uh, back and watch like the POV of everyone while I was live. But it was just kind of like a lot of the other people just kind of started streaming other stuff, you know. So it was just kind of hard to do that. But I mean, you can actually go back. I've got like. A lot of streams of Province Season 2, you can actually see, like, the entire thing. In VR, uh, you can see it from Chunky's POV, he's just, uh, no, I think it was on Twitch. Uh, Synergy Games, he was, uh, one of the other guys that was streaming on there. Is, uh, and yeah, so, oh, I'll meet you at the Blue Diamond. But yeah, so that was kind of like the whole thing about Province Season 2. It was more of like a streamer-only thing, uh, which kind of want to see how that would work. Uh, uh, I still do very much recommend that if players are on province that they do stream if they can. Uh, but yeah. So yeah, this is, you already saw the blue diamond. Uh, I guess there are some more vacant rooms if you want me to show you those, but. Do you want me to, or? 
Uh, let's cheaper. Yes, I okay. got. This is going to be smaller, but it is going to be cheaper by a lot. Let's go all the way to the top because all of these floors are owned. I okay, got. So this skyscraper, every single floor is a diamond. Just you see a floor you like, it's a diamond. You can buy like three or four floors for like four diamonds, and then uh, you know what I'm saying, and all that. And if you see a floor that you like, but it doesn't have like a floor or glass in it yet, I I can literally do that right now. You know, I just don't want to put all my resources into rooms that end up not being bought. You know what I'm saying? Make sense? Oh, wait, let me see that last comment you sent. One second, I missed it. Oh, uh, you're gonna start streaming Java when your computer arrives. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I've got a uh, computer. I got Java Minecraft, but I don't uh, stream that much. Computer's not very good at it. At least some editing on my computer, but um, it's usually I'm more of uh, putting streams up. I don't know. Uh, editing is not very easy on my computer. It takes like 12 hours to upload the, the footage, so it's like really slow. So I mean, I've uh, it's more of like a uh, I'm probably going to do streaming for like a while uh, until I get a good computer and then I'll probably uh, edit streams down and upload those, you know what I'm saying? Kind of like stream highlights, I guess, but that's probably what's going to end up happening. Uh, well, no, nah, well, I mean, currently all of my live streams are like pretty much my YouTube. Oh, here, you know, live in the suburbs. This is like 32 iron. Well, I mean, these buildings are stores only. But these back here are houses. Let's see. He still plays. Still plays. Still plays. Yeah, I don't think anyone on this in the suburbs has ever been banned. So. Well, I mean, yeah, because you're here right now. Oh, this would be uh, 32 iron. Yeah, there are two st uh, stairs missing here, and you'll have to put a sign with your username, and that'd be it. Mm. I'm sorry, but you've made a fatal mistake. Look at this. You can fortune iron now. That was only good. Oh, five. Oh, this will pay it off. These houses were always, like, way cheaper than they should have been. Like, you could actually, like, break, tear down this house and sell the goods for more money than the house was. <laughs> I mean, like, um, yeah, this will definitely pay off the, uh, that extra cost. Ooh, that was, like, over stack. Yes, thank you. Hmm? No, on everything on the servers, you pay it once. Yeah, all the apartments are pay once, houses pay once, all of it. It's just too complicated because, you know, sometimes people don't get on for a while, sometimes people on every day, so it kind of be hard to keep track and charge everyone. Wow. Uh, you can keep the stuff. The guy who used to live here was banned. I don't remember. I just remember the guy who lived here. I don't remember his username. Uh, I think it was like stealing stuff. Is it night yet? Okay. Well, that's it. Bye. Enjoy your house. I'm going to go do some mining and repair my tools. There we go. 
Alright, well, uh, oh, you, got, you want to buy elytra? I don't have any. I might go get some. They took so much work, and I lost, like, over a set of nether to get it. I don't know. Oh, I do have, uh, villager breeding area. Hmm. I'm gonna go deal with uh, my villagers and go see what's happening with them. Oh, I need to uh, bring... It's gonna be so annoying to deal with villagers. I'll see your pain. Nah, chat. You know, I'm not. I'm not gonna do that. I don't want to deal with that. Screw villagers. Screw villagers. No one likes villagers. Unless they work. Then, then everyone loves villagers. <laughs> oh, well, that's it. I uh, actually finished the project that I was planning to do on the live stream. So. Uh, now I guess we'll just do more. <laughs> uh, let's mine up this ground, put dirt in there. Uh, uh, no, you have to pay for that. Pretty much that house that you purchase is, you can do interior stuff, but you can't actually change that house, like, really at all. That's how the suburbs work, because it's, you know, like, Real life suburbs is, you know, a ton of like houses that all look like the same. That's kind of like the idea. So, you can pay a little bit, and I can add like minor stuff like uh, roof access and, you know, make your roof usable. Like I did on uh, another one. If you go look around, I mean, they're not on right now, and I'll allow it as long as you don't take anything. Just uh, walk around. There's uh, one house that's got a staircase that goes up to uh, the roof floor. You'll see it. It's, uh, like, you know, like, the shore ones? The ones that, like, have the, f the face, uh, the shore? You know those ones? Uh, yeah, go over to one of those, and, uh, they should have it. It's, like, a massive one, but, yeah. Also, uh, later, when you're, uh, done with ev uh, whatever you're doing right now, uh, come down and help me do, uh, for province underground we are going to be pretty much like putting the roads down you know what i'm saying that are like up in province like exactly like to the coordinate they are so that'll be fun Let's see. What the? No, okay. What's up there? Huh. Okay, guys, let's see. What are we going to do? Okay, I think we're going to drop the quarry. Yeah, we're going to do some quarry work. You know, like, the quarry goes down, like, Y11, I think it is. And that's it. I think I'm going to... Make it so it goes down to Y5, because apparently that's the new diamond height. I mean, obviously it's not going to affect it, it's like most of it, but I know there are diamonds there anyway, so might as well, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure we can work with that staircase a little bit more. Uh, there. Uh, but yeah, uh, that is what we're going to be doing. A little bit of the stream, I guess. Uh, we got to get this whole mining area set up. Okay, I see what it is. Uh, 
Negative 99, 124. There we go. That's one corner. Let's see, what is this corner? One oh eight. What? Yo, Diamond's Pog? Diamond's Pog? Literally right under the quarry. We've been mining there for like a year and a half in this game. And there have been diamonds right under the feet of everyone who complains. There's no diamonds here. We've mined them all out. Oh, look at that. Sexy three diamonds. Oh, another. Oh my god, there's more. So what do they gain? Yeah, but aren't they mining? Yeah. So why do they? Why would they give you anything for mining? So what if they just mine on their own? They just do it themselves. No, I'm just saying. Like, what if I just say, "Yo, you're gonna mine for me, and you're gonna give me all of your money, except you know." You can keep the diamonds. You just give me all your iron for no reason. Like what? What? What have you done to them that's made them give you money? Oh yeah. Well, this is why your business is flawed. For me, my mining business is I give people efficiency five pickaxes, and then I say mine everything you have, and then give me half the diamonds and all of the iron, and people are okay with that. Because I gave them an efficiency 5 netherite pickaxe to use. But you're like, give me your iron. And they're like, okay. See that? See the difference? Yeah, you see the difference. You know what I'm talking about. This is a problem, isn't it? Uh, any coal, any coal, any coal, any coal, any coal. I really am I gonna have to open up like a million chests. Yo guys, welcome back to the opening chest looking for coal stream. Is there coal? There it is. One piece of coal. Not not the show guys. Okay. All you anime nerds, okay? It's not one piece, okay? It's one piece of coal. It's right. Okay, there we go. Uh, I've got 64 iron, so that's not going to work. Is it? There's got to be coal somewhere. Coal? Okay. Someone's going to be watching this and saying I'm blind, but, like, really, where's the coal? Bingo. Oh yeah, let's go. All the coal. All of it. That's it? I got 34 is enough though, I guess.
Uh, five in new chunks, I guess 11 in old chunks. So, as long as you're not 2. Point million, like 2.4 billion blocks away, I mean, you'll be fine. You can just mine a white 11. Huh? Yep, it hasn't changed old chunks. Huh. Lava. Ayo, lava's gone, and there's no diamonds. Okay, that was pathetic. There's almost always diamonds in do That's kind of sad. Oh my god. Really expected uh, to find that. Oh. gravel let's see uh okay well i think the plan is for down here we're gonna start all the strip mines like we did up there in the uh original quarry and then i I'm probably going to have to do new floors. I don't really know what I'm going to do for floors. I was planning on doing wood, but I forgot that, uh, obsidian, well, not obsidian, uh, bedrock generates at the site. Oh, that's a couple. You know? So that's going to be something we're going to have to figure out, uh, what the floors are going to be. You know? Uh, maybe, maybe deep slate? That could work. Deep Slate's really far away, by the way. They're like, I had uh, a few players yesterday that went out and found it, like, thousands of blocks away, so. I wouldn't recommend going out looking for that. If you want to find diamonds, just go to the quarry and go to, like, Y11 or Y5. I just made the Y5 area, so. So there's actually an entirely new height to find diamonds at the quarry that's never been done before. So, if you want to be the first to get in on that... I would, uh, rec Bro. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I just said that, that was pretty funny. What's that on you, like, TikTok? Ah, you're on YouTube. Why? <laughs> what? Why? That's not make any sense, but okay. Especially if they're going with the whole TikTok steals your data argument. I'm like, then why are you using it?
Okay, we got a lot of waste down here, so I'm gonna go drop off my inventory. Now, that's always weird. I've never actually thought about this. Uh, why do I have the uh, coordinates here anymore? Because, I mean, you sh usually you used to go into the quarry, there's a sign with the coordinates, and you'd, uh, you'd uh, type them before you went mining, right? So you knew, like, how to line up to come back, but like, I mean, the quarries turned from strip mining at like at least at Y11 to people just going like, just mining. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't actually know the term for this, but just you know what we did down here, where we just completely opened up the entire area, like, um, uh, that's kind of weird, but. Okay, but I'm almost done with the uh, Y5 version of the quarry, which is right below the quarry, so to be good. I do need to figure out how to make it one way, so when you go up from Y5, you go all the way top, but when you go down from the top of the quarry, you only go to Y11, and then it stops you. Okay, I think I got it. I think I can do it. It shouldn't be too hard, actually. It's, like, probably really easy. I don't really know why I need to figure that out. That was a really simple solution. I'm just gonna... Wait. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Do the uh, have it go like up two blocks and then just have it drop off, you know, the, like the rail. So be like full powered and then uh, cut it. Yo, let's go. Good, I guess. I mean, we're just mining, you know, showing with the stream. Dog father in the chat. You know, uh, Doug. Oh my god. <laughs> Man, you actually out here just admitting to, like, crimes against humanity in Minecraft. Uh, it's a uh, liquid ghost. He's the he's in the party. I don't think anyone. Yeah, no one else is in the party. Sometimes I know there's one thing. There's like a few people in like province chat that like they're not like they don't like their mics don't like. Uh, I don't really know how to say it. Like. Their mics work, but, like, they act like it doesn't work. They never use their mics. It's like, they'll just, like, sit in the party for, like, two or three hours and before seeing the first word. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that. Dareth? Don't know who that is. Never played. That. Nope, no clue. Mm. Uh, let's see. I join again. I'm gonna make a private island. Uh, yeah, there's a. Uh, 
Well, actually, we actually started this uh, thing recently. So, uh, we've got... You can actually make countries now. Uh, taxes. You know, taxes have been around forever, bro. It's like, life. Life is taxes. Huh? Water monument? Someone? That's... I don't even know what I was gonna say. You just have been completely dumbfounded. <laughs> oh yeah, but uh, I'll just tell everyone else, I guess, who watches the VOD. But uh, so we recently started this thing, kind of off stream, I guess. I think it was, uh, and it's that you can pay what was it, netherite ingots per like map. Yeah, so you know, like uh. The uh, one by four map, like the basic map, pretty much that. Uh, as long as it's outside of the bounds of province, which is like, I don't know. I've got a map somewhere that shows how big province is, but pretty much as long as you're outside of that, you can uh, purchase a map. You own that as if it's a new country, right? And you can make new rule laws there for anyone who lives there. And that's kind of like the whole idea, you know what I'm saying? So you can pretty much be like, oh, I want to buy some, I want to pretty much own a country, right? So, you, it, uh, it does have to be far away. It's like a thousand blocks away, right? So, that's one thing. You are going to have to deal with it being far away. Uh, but, you can make your own laws there. You know, like, for example, taxes would be a good one. Uh, if you want to do that. Cause I don't, we don't really have taxes on province anymore. We did at one point, but I actually got rid of them because it's actually beneficial for it not really to be. Because I can single-handedly by myself you know, fund the government, and taxes kind of made people unhappy, so it's actually, oddly enough, beneficial for us to not have it, but, okay. oh yeah, I mean, you can just write that, I guess, when you say laws, you can just say, same as province, but you can always change stuff, I mean, you say that now, that like you want province laws, but realistically, province laws are, like, very intense on in what you can and can't do, but they're also very lax when it comes to, like, money, you know, like, money, you know, I get, like, you know, when you talk about, like, taxes, and, what is wrong with you, you like, this entire, like, live stream, you've been talking about, like, slavery, and, like, you know, stealing money from poor people on the server, like, what the heck, like, hiring people, just taking their money, what, no, <laughs> Okay. That's not working for you. That's just you, like, on, on, that's not even threatening them. That's just like, I, I don't even know what that is. I don't know who would accept that deal, ever. That is an awful deal. That's like saying, yo, uh, li li like, listen to me, okay? You are going to go mine all the resources for a house, okay? You're going to build a house, right? And then you're going to pay for the land, and it's going to be my house. That's, that's like, the deal you're giving them. And you can keep the extra resources. That's pretty much what you just said. <laughs> it's like, no. That's not, not great. Oh, my God. No. I don't really know what you mean. Oh, yeah, no, it's, that can be waterlogged. Uh, you know lightning rods. I'm pretty sure now water... Lightning rods can be waterlogged. Yeah, pretty much what you're going to have to do is place a normal block, right? And then... No, I guess that wouldn't work. Yeah, no, you really can't do it. It's gotta be flowing water. And, I mean, I think water would automatically become a source block if you were to place that. Yeah, you'd have to make, like, a... Mm, yeah, it'd be too much work. Yeah, pretty much, no. That's a simple answer. There's a way you could do it, but it's not worth the effort. You mean like this? I've gotta try and... 
I've actually got two, but I try and farm. Uh, well, I mean, one, we're on peaceful, so I'd have to turn it off to get trines. Uh, tr getting trines isn't that hard, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I got 11 trines in 15 minutes the last time we held the thing. Uh, so yeah. Pretty much, I mean, realistically, if we needed trines, I'd probably, while everyone's offline, I'd probably go for like 20, 30 minutes. Uh, with my trine and my, uh, was it, looting, uh, sword, and I'd probably just go beat up, uh, guys, and I'd get them really quick. I don't have my looting three sword anymore, because, uh, oh, what was it, Chris, I think, joined the server, and he picked up my sword, because he wanted to see it, and then some random guy killed him while he was in Visitor, which, you know, when you're in Visitor and you die, you don't drop your stuff. So, guess what happened to my sword? Gone. Oh, Elijah, yeah, we can actually do Elijah, like, in Peaceful, but, eh, I'll, I'll, I might do it on a stream later, but it's a lot of just flying around, loading new chunks, lagging this world, obviously, uh, you know, it's people dying a lot, people getting stuck, things not going right, too, too many things go wrong, and it's not really worth it, so. Man, you hate your phone, bro. Uh, let's see. That's actually pretty good. I mined all of that, and I got like eight diamonds or so. So, not too bad. Yo, Dogfather, you're about to get a sneak peek into my money. My money shulker box. Oh, wait. Okay, there we go. I can craft this down. Oh, I got a crafting table on me. Four. There we go. 64 and 64 blocks of diamond and 34 extra diamonds. That's why I'm running out of space, bro. And my, you know, three stacks of iron. I've, I've got some block of copper, you know. I mean, it's modest in that. Yeah, my more than stack of a block of gold. This is only what I'm willing to spend. I do have all my netherite hidden away. I'm willing to spend up to seven blocks of netherite, but I don't really know what I've ever spending that on. But I am actually completely willing to spend that, because my secret stash has lots of netherite. Yeah, I think I've got, like, almost... Around a stack of netherite blocks, I think, in my other one. That is almost completely from me scamming people on the server. I'm not going to lie. I charge, like, a ne like a netherite ingot for mending blocks, uh, for, for mending books. But, like, for me, at least, they're not very hard to get. Like, for you guys, it'd be nearly impossible. But, like, with my, with my villager farm, it is... Oh, it's so easy. Oh, and elytras. I used to sell them for three netherite... Well, it's a netherite ingot for an elytra, three netherite ingots for a max enchanted elytra, which would be unbreaking and... Oh, what is it? Yeah, let me just see. It's unbreaking mending. So, there's three netherite ingots for max enchant elytra. Uh, nowadays, if I were to sell elytra, it might go up to five. It might be three netherite ingots for normal elytra and five for full enchant. Because you don't even know. When you can fortune all of these uh like fortune like iron and gold now the the value of like a lot of goods has dropped which would make it so netherite and diamond are also less valuable so pretty much like the entire economy is just like shrunk so uh we are gonna probably gonna end up having even higher prices for late game stuff which i mean it could result in economic collapse but we don't i don't know We've only ever had one Great Depression on the server, and it was horrible, and a lot of people quit because, like, the economy was so messed up. Like, like the rich people got so wealthy. Like, there were people in this world that had, like, diamond armor, and then after this, they had, like, ten blocks of netherite on them, ten blocks of diamond, uh, ten blocks of netherite in the hidden chest, you know, they're in full enchanted netherite armor, you know, like, that happened a week, and then you also had this 
same people, right, who are in, like, iron, and, you know, like, just got their first house, these people would lose their house because it gets purchased by the rich people, right? And then when the economy grows, you know, when it gets everything inflates, uh, they can't afford to buy back the own house that was just, that they just sold, which made all of the poor people so much poor. Like, there are, so, there are like, still people on the server, at least, like, until very recently, that were, like, still actually affected by the Great Depression. Like, one guy, Attila, he was a pretty rich guy, pre- uh, I mean, honestly, he'd been in the, like, top five richest players on the server pre-Great Depression, and he was, like, the one that got on, like, kind of after the Great Depression happened, so everyone, like, even, like, poor people, by the standards of pre-Great Depression, were richer than him, and he was, like, one of the top five wealthiest, so he got, like, he, pretty much, his wealth didn't grow during the Great Depression, because that was when everyone first started mining netherite, right, so he didn't get any netherite, so he's still back in diamond, uh, the value of his diamond, iron, and gold went way down, right? So now he'd, the money he did have was worth less, not to mention the fact that his wealth didn't grow. And then everything else got more expensive. He literally lost his house because of the Great Depression. And he was the top five richest people on the server. He actually could have afforded a skyscraper at the time. And, like, only, like, somewhat recently did he, like, start getting richer. I mean, like, now he works in... Sky Industries, and he's got a few apartment rooms, and he's got, like, a skyscraper, kind of. He, like, owns a part of skyscraper. He, like, paid for some of it. So he's, like, quite rich now. That's just because he worked, like, three or four months. Have you not seen the new city? Whoa, stop playing TikTok, bro. Or whatever that is, YouTube. That's YouTube Shorts. I know it. That's gotta be YouTube Shorts. Okay. That's basically TikTok. Yeah. I know it, because I watch YouTube Shorts. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. yeah, this is the uh, Minecraft area. What do you think of it? I uh, revamped it a little bit. So it looks a little better, but... Let's go. Uh, so yeah, I'll show you the new city. So, I mean, this is, I'm just going to go the easy way, so I can just kind of talk without having to, like, deal with walking around and probably finding something that's broken and me fixing it. But, yeah, so, uh, so, I guess the easy way would be walk over the bridge, right, and then you're going to keep walking along the shore, and then I'll show you what's over here. Uh... This, I guess, would be good for you guys. I mean, for me, I've got, like, uh, what's it called? I've got the Trident, so I don't really need it in an Elytra. But, yeah, so you're going to come over to this building. I'm not sure if you've actually seen this before or not. But this is, uh, you come over here. You put this down. My God, this might crash my PlayStation. Okay, hold on. Leg, 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 leg. Okay, and then... So we just want like a few hundred blocks there, like three or four hundred, I think. Uh, it might have actually been like five hundred. And yeah, so that's the Atlantis project. That's the big skyscraper I'm working on. Like the only skyscraper that might be like a major project, other than Monaco, of course. Uh, long time viewers know Monaco is probably never going to be finished, but this is like my biggest skyscraper I'm working on. I've got to get a lot of green concrete. I have to drain an entire skyscraper. Of, oh, it was? Shorebound was grief. That sucks. Well, that's, uh, oh, there, that's the hourglass. That's the mega skyscraper I have. But, yeah, this is the current project. How is it grief, though? That's... Wait, when was this? So I, was, I think I was like, talking to them like, yesterday. Huh. But yeah, this is this is the new city area. Someone committed mass arson. Oh, someone burned down everything. Do they know who or no? Yeah, we actually had that once. The burning of province. Adam the gamer 
Or wait, no. Was it Ikea God? Adam the Gamer Ikea God, one of them. Burn every building? Jesus. But, uh... Yeah, but Adam the Gamer or Ikea God. It doesn't really matter which one. They, they've both been banned for committing horrible crimes on the server. But, uh, one of them went around and burned... Like, they put a fire down every single, like, building and province. That's actually why fire's off, sp fire spread is off now. But he quite li No, FX, Key, and W. Uh, but... Uh, yeah, so Adam or Ikea, which... Either one of them doesn't really matter, because, you know, they both been banned. But, uh, they burn down, like, 90% of province, which is actually why, like, a lot of province to this day is a lot of stone buildings. You can actually kind of see, like, the effects of the Great Burning. Like, it wiped down, like, half of the city. Well, I mean, that's kind of crazy. Right now. But then, you know, we re actually built back better, so it, I guess there's, you know, always benefits and stuff like that. There's always, you know, silver lining, I guess you could say. You know, it's kind of weird that like half the half of like province itself was burned down very early stages too. Like there were no skyscrapers, no skyscrapers or anything. Like we'd only just you know finished building like a wood building like on every part of like the you know I I can explain it better once I get into a map. But we had uh we had pretty much like just finished. Just in chaos right now. Oh, it is. That's that sucks, bro. I'm not gonna lie. He really likes that server, doesn't he? Um. Let's see. So, uh, yeah, right over here. So, all this road network. You see, all, like the roads. Everyone, province. Ninety percent of the roads in province uh, were set up before the burning of province. So, pretty much, like how province was set up is, I went around made like basic roads you know put blocks down all that and we just put a ton of wood homes like almost the entire map was covered with wood it's actually more dense than it is right now which is kind of one of the weird ways that province actually hasn't recovered in like the last nearly a year from that burning because uh since then we've all been trying to build like stone buildings to replace the void of all the wooden ones like this right here this building right here used to be, I think it was nine or ten wooden houses. Like, they were like this. These are, like, some of the last few uh, wooden homes on the server. And people, when they bought these, pretty much how it worked is you own from here all the way over to this block. And you can go up or down as far as you want. There's no, you know, nothing stopping you. You can just expand your house up and up and up forever, right? But, uh... For for one thing, that's not really good for me, right? Because I don't make money if someone just pays me one time and then makes, like, a big house and just uh, everyone else lives in it. So we eventually put limits on how many people can live in someone's house, which have since been removed. Uh, and then we also started doing apartment buildings, right? Which make me much more money. Like this, it's pre-built, right? So players don't have to work, you know, worry about living in one house. It can't be burned, right? And our big bonus they're massive, they've got good views, they're, like, around the center of things, they're close to your friends, uh, if you need to, you can easily expand without having to find new blocks, like, the blue diamond took me, like, several hours to find all of that blue wood, all the warped wood, but, uh, I mean, if you'd live there normally, it would have taken, you know, every time you need to expand, it's not just like, oh, let me drop some, like, ten diamonds and get the next floor, it's more of a, let me, uh, you know, go out, get some blue wood, get some andesite, get some glass, put blah, you know, this, this, that, this, you know. Also, not to mention the fact that uh, that would have been even more expensive than 10 diamonds. Because uh, kind of like the way it works is homes nowadays. Sorry about the voice crack, but homes are uh, very expensive. Like owning land in province is super expensive. Because, I mean, at one point it was full. So, land was very hard to come by. Now that's opened up because of the fire and stuff like that. Players leaving. Uh, it's made it, I guess, a little bit easier for, uh, you know, to buy just a skyscraper room, you know? Because, like, 32 iron, for, like, living in a skyscraper for, like, 32 iron, like the Red X, it's actually, you get more room than you would if you paid 32 iron to get land. I mean, 32 iron to get land might get you, like, uh, it's a netherite ingot for 10 by 10, so that would mean you're going to get, like, 
two like a two by two. That's quite literally like four square blocks. It's nothing, right? So you actually, at least early on, buying skyscraper like apartment rooms is actually cheaper than buying land and building a house. So that was kind of like the whole thing, you know. It costs a lot for me to do it, right? Or like for someone to buy land and build a skyscraper on it. But once you do, it's very profitable. You know, it's very easy for new people to uh, move in and all that, right? So that's kind of like the whole idea. It's more of like, uh, it's actually, it sounds like a bad thing that like, you know, buildings got burnt down and people have got to deal with not being able to expand their house. But like, realistically, when you think about it, it's very much healthy economy out. New players, instead of having to work for like netherite or diamonds to afford a wooden house that's like 5x5, five five, can get 32 iron in 10 minutes and live in a nice room, you know, above the city, close to all their friends that are in the server, you know, stuff like that. So that's like, it was actually a good thing. Do you make a lot of profit from the anarchy zone? Uh, somewhat. Uh, I guess overall. Server-wise, yes, a lot of people mine on the, uh, from that, uh, no, but I guess, back to what I was kind of trying to say, uh, server-wise, yes, the server does make a fair amount of profit from Anarchy side, people go over there, grief, steal, and most importantly, they mine, a lot of people mine, uh, on the Anarchy side, just because, you know, the, no one else really mines there, it's, because when you, I guess the easy way to say it is, you know, democracy side, you can't be killed. You know, there are rules. Anarchy side, there's no limit on what you can do, right? So everyone minds on the democracy side because they don't want, you know, some rich guy to come by and just kill them and take their diamonds. But when you mine an anarchy, right, if you're rich enough to do that, uh, there's really no threat because no one will really be able to kill you. And it's an untapped resource, you know, like less than 10% of the server mines on anarchy side. You know what I'm saying? So it's more like... Uh, it's a really good way to go get resources that haven't been tapped yet. Like, realistically, if I were to, like, go down there, there'd probably be, on average, more diamonds on close to anarchy than there are, like, right on the border of democracy. This area can mine out a lot. I mean, like, you saw Province Underground early in the stream, right? Like, we literally are mining out cities down underground. Like, there is... Not to mention the fact that, you know, like, everyone mines for diamonds down there. There's... No way there's room for ores and all that down there. So, it's definitely better to mine anarchy. But from killing specifically, no. I'd say killing actually is one of the things that hurts the server about anarchy. Uh, I, when people go over there and start killing on anarchy zone, it usually causes conflict, you know what I'm saying? Like with Mysterio, he got killed by Jamosu, and uh, the pickaxe despawned or whatever. So, they started a war, which destroyed some buildings, caused some damage, you know what I'm saying? So, it's like... Not really worth it. I'd say it's unprofitable. Yeah. But yeah, I'd say it's unprofitable when it comes to killing. Killing actually uh, damages the economy, but mining helps it a lot. So it's kind of like, uh, goes a little bit both ways, you know what I'm saying? I mean, the fact that there is an anarchy is actually really good for the server in the terms of griefing. Uh, I mean, as you can tell, the server is not grief very much, you know? Uh, I'd say that's most likely attributed to the fact that you can grief for free on the anarchy side without any consequence. And there are people who actually live there, so I mean, it's kind of like no reason to grief here, you know? So I'd say that's like one of the biggest benefits of anarchy. It like, if you want to come on the server, you know, you're bored one day, you don't just grief, you know? Like, when you get on like someone else's world, you're like, oh, I'm bored, I'm going to go light someone's houses on fire, you know? There are literally buildings over there, towers, you know, s settlements on the anarchy side that you can do whatever you want to and there's no consequence, you know? So that's kind of like the good thing, I guess, about anarchy. It's really, like, when you go down to it, like, it is completely designed just to stop griefing and, you know, toxicity. Uh, and, yeah, this is my base. Well, I mean, this is, like, my house, I guess. I purchased all of these homes. These used to be homes of players that lived on the server. Cash, Toasty... Uh, and this was, actually, this was toasty, this was a farm, but I purchased the farm and combined it, so I purchased money from all, of, I purchased the home from all these players, I gave them all the money they needed, and I own all of this, combined it all, I expanded, back here was a casino, also owned by Cash, I bought this from him, and over here was a store owned by Opie, it's kind of under ruins, we, like, kind of, 
since we merged all of our uh uh oh, what is it called? Man, I really just blanked out on that. Well, since we merged all of like our assets, uh, you know, when we came together in uh Sky Industries, you know, our company that we run on the server, uh me and Opie kind of like share that building, so it's uh, Let's see, can I get this guy out? There we go. Why do I have a horse down here? Oh, there's a way to get him in and out. Okay. Well, uh, but yeah, so since we merged our assets, I kind of own that. Not to mention the fact I own that skyscraper. I own this building, which is really nothing right now. It got blown up earlier. Uh, and I, well, this is was owned by Tosi. I took control of it while he was gone, but now he's kind of back. So it's owned by him, but more or less, at one point in the server, I controlled every building on this main street, uh, this one, I operated it, I didn't fully own it, and now it's back to his, so yeah. So I technically own this road, you know what I'm saying? That's, which is kind of a cool thing. I mean, like, not even without me owning, like, I mean, I own the server, obviously, so I can do really whatever I want, but like, from playing the server legit, you know, not like taking it or stealing it or whatever. I like actually got it. Uh, peace out, God, uh, dog father. Uh, I'll probably see you on uh, province later. See ya. Uh, but yeah, I think that's pretty interesting, you know. Like, I mean, they're also they're obviously all pretty rich. I mean, Cash has quit the server, but Toasty's still. Very rich. I mean, he hasn't. He didn't play the server for six months, and he's still rich. So he was obscenely rich pre before he quit. Since then, his wealth has kind of diminished. But you know, that's how it's mainly it. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, I think we might start. Actually, we'll just see how long the stream's been going. Uh, like an hour and thirteen minutes. Okay. We might go back down to working underground. Once again, kind of a chill stream. We're not going to be doing any like, big events. Uh, where are you at, uh, Liquid? Where are you? It's, uh... Oh, well, my God. There's a pretty easy way that you can find Deep Slate that I was going to recommend you, but... Uh, let's see. Man, look at all of these uh building wow, that building looks like it is deteriorating. Look at that. What the heck? There's like vines hanging down from that. Okay, yeah, let's go look at villagers for a second then. Oh, he's here. Let's go. What the heck? Oh Axolotl just killed uh squid. What the oh my god, they're murdering everything. This is crazy. I'm gonna have to deal with like axolotls like going down this river that I made and dying. It seems kind of annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Huh? Hmm. Huh. Can they walk through that? I really don't know. I'm gonna be honest, I couldn't tell you. That could be bad. Like, I don't really want to risk it. That if, do you know if uh, you know like two trap doors? If you put one like above, like on the floor and a ceiling, you can't like walk through that space. Can villagers? I think they can. I don't really want to risk it. So if I put like a, uh, I'll send you a screenshot. I'm talking about. But yeah, it could be different on Bedrock. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, okay. Cool. Hey! That's what I was talking about. Cool. Alright, uh, let me uh, tell to see join party. Hmm. Let's see. 
see if I can invite him. Where is it? Let's see you, Toasty. Hello, Toasty. Hello. Uh, yes, I'm streaming Minecraft on Province. I see you've joined. So. Just, uh, you want me to find you? I can kind of show you around a little bit. Oh, there you are. Uh, you know, I guess I'll take you to like the anarchy area just to kind of show you what we did there on the border. We changed up the wall a little bit, you know. Uh, I don't really know when the last time you joined was. You've seen the other city, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, then yeah. Uh, have you seen Province Underground? The like underground version of Province. Got some no. skyscrapers down there. Okay, I'll show you that later then. Uh, well, there's your house right here. <laughs> That's falling apart as ever. Uh, here's the wall. As you can see, it's not just ugly mixture of gravel and cobblestone anymore. We've got some watchtowers and stuff lining it. Uh, this little bridge to divide it. Uh, this, this is actually what I just uh, finished yesterday, the bridge. And then uh, flanned out the spawn area, which we're going to put a welcome building and some railway to connect people to like downtown stuff. Just get them in the server quickly, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And uh, here, well, I'll take you to uh, Province Underground. and That's pretty much all that's changed. I mean, I haven't been online in Province for like four or five months, so... There's a blue axolotl. Yes, I... Uh, there's a lot of blue axolotls. I mean, there's not a lot of blue axolotls, but there's a lot of axolotl colors, right? That's kind of a point. It's like a 0.8% chance uh -huh. of uh, spawning a blue one. That's pretty good. Oh my god, people are just swarming. I'm not gonna lie. This is Province Underground. Uh, as you can see, like if you walk out here, we've mined all of this out. This is actually what I did early in the stream. Uh, if you come over here, we just mined this out yesterday. You know? Lots of mining. Building, you know. These are all actually exact like coordinates as well. Like This is uh, Brick Heights, the building that we went into. All of the coordinates line up for like the corners and stuff. Same with uh, all of the other buildings. Like, this is... If you were to continue the building up, it would actually, like, line up. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. that's what we're uh, doing down here. Just making that copy. Uh, that's more or less it. I mean, you've seen the Hourglass, right? In uh, Riptide Bay? Yeah. That massive... Tr yeah, and that's pretty much all there is for stuff that's really changed recently. I mean, that was, like, not even recently. That was, like, five months ago before I quit, so... Uh, nah, that's pretty much all we've been doing. I just got on, like, a few days ago. And started getting back into it, so. That's what we've done, in, like, the last three or four days. Let me just say, uh, join party. Two, two, one, Sorry about that chat. I can't. Uh. Yeah, I don't know. I've just been doing some kill streams on my uh, channel while I've just been, you know, mining and getting back into it and all that, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, uh, I'm sure you're probably going to want to work on your house, right? Yeah. Yeah, so.
Whoa, whoa, you can't just be holding those. Okay, whoa, those are rare. <laughs> Hold out obsidian. Bruh. Bruh. Bayo. Wow, look at this. There's like a million people out here. Why is there a horse? Is this my horse? Oh, I think it is. Okay, well, cool. Uh, is it? Is my horse still in my house? I can't really tell. Oh, yeah, okay, this is probably it. Uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. So, I mean, you're, you're in your house, right? Just down here. Yeah. That's, uh, and, uh, I guess, yeah, so, I mean, you can work on it. I mean, I, I think I expanded it up a little bit. Uh, just did some minor work on it. But, I mean, there's still a lot of damage to be fixed, and I don't really have all the wood needed. At least when I was fixing this. I mean, like, after the, uh, the blast, you know, when Providence <laughs> went nuclear. This is this. I've been trying to, see what I'm doing down here? I'm, like, uh... Trying to make it like more like an underground like community area. Yeah. So I was trying to work on that, but it is not going well so far. But yeah, that's more or less what the state of whatever this mess is trying to deal with this whole crater. Oh, I got it. I'll just go up the uh, waterway. I have a triumph. Uh, worked on the railroads. I know those haven't worked, like, even since you were playing, they've been broken, but they finally work now. Uh, so you can get them, pretty much go wherever you want. Uh, realistically, I don't use a railroad, uh, because, I mean, it rains, and I've got an Aquaman trying, but, I think I'm, I'm usually fine, and I've got an Elytra, so I really don't need, uh, the railway to move around. But I know a lot of new players have trouble kind of navigating, so, I'm probably gonna start working, uh, in public transport soon, you know, like, uh, building new canals for boats to get around, building new roads, I'm building four to seven new skyscrapers that are 1.17 themed, you know, so that's pretty much, like, the current direction of the server, uh, I am desperately looking for someone who's good at redstone, like, I need someone to make a automatic bamboo farm for me, I, Tried making one of my like head. I don't know. I think I messed something up, and I just kind of gave up with it. Uh, I just need someone that can effectively make a compact one. Like I know I can make one, but I was just trying to make one compact, and I just couldn't do it. You know, so I really want to like get like a lot and like a small amount of space uh, to farm bamboo. But I was just having some trouble with uh, making it small. Every time I made it, it just came out really large. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, whole direction of the server. Just making... Probably going to be working on villagers some more. Uh, but I got to get that bamboo farm up. Uh, yeah. Uh, I guess I've also been going around like repairing old buildings and stuff. Uh, we're probably going to go remodel like this building right here, for example. It's probably going to get turned into some form of skyscraper or maybe like a train stop. I know this used to be one. Remember when we used to have a metro on province? Yeah. Those were the days. And now it's like, I don't actually know where this goes. It's like... <laughs> what? Oh, it goes... This is province underground. <laughs> well, that's... Cool, I guess. Uh... But yeah, uh, that's pretty much it, I guess. Just going around, doing minor stuff, and uh, trying to finish up problems on the ground. I've only got a few more skyscrapers to work. I just gotta make sure uh, every single skyscraper that's in province is built, like not, you know, like to scale, but like at the same you know dimensions as above. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So the same like width and all that, but the height is obviously going to be different, because, you know, I've got a limited amount of space, but yeah, I just got to remake every skyscraper from above ground province, and this area is more or less done, so I've got to make uh, a skyscraper right here, which is made of acacia wood, so i got to 
figure out where all my Keisha is. And I'm going to make Quartz Principality. Oh my god, that skyscraper is going to literally... It's going to be the death of me. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to die after I build, <laughs> build that. Uh, yeah. That's more or less where things are at. It's just... Uh, just finished, uh, province underground, like, to the point where it's, like, easy to add new projects, you know? Because before, it was, like, just to move around, we had to mine, but, like, nowadays, it's, like, province underground. Like, you could, this is, like, if I were to quit here, this is already a good amount of work, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, there's already, like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, uh, 11, 12... 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27 rooms down here. Like, that's all a bunch of players can fit down here. You know? So it's like, um, I think when I'm done adding skyscrapers, we'll be able to fit, like, around 100. And... Everything down here is like half the price. It's all uh, half off of what the above ground version is. Uh, so yeah, that's more or less where things are at. This is housing for only Sky Industries uh, employees. So it's a free house if you you know work at Sky Industries. The above ground version is a free office. So you know you can kind of live down here and then work in the upper version of the skyscraper. This is this is all housing. Uh, very cheap. It's like all 32 to like, no, this is a stack, a stack of iron, yeah. But this is all stack of iron. Over here is all 32 iron, uh, per room, 64 iron per an entire floor. So a room's like half a floor. And then over here is five diamonds. It's usually 10 above. So that's pretty much how the pricing is right now. You know? That's, uh, where it's at. This lobby I know has got to get a rework. Because, I mean, if you've seen the, lobby above from us these two buildings i uh this one's like all dark prismarine and quartz and this one's just all quartz bricks so i gotta get a bunch of quartz and uh do stuff like that I gotta put a banner and like that little koi pond that's there and then these two buildings are like done but yeah that's pretty much where it's at uh if you want to help with something if you want to go work on your home anything, anything's really good i don't really care uh yeah, that's it. All right. Uh, but yeah, so if you really need anything, I'll probably just be mining down here. I'm not gonna lie; it's probably all I uh, be doing. But yeah, uh, once all the skyscrapers done and we start finishing up all the buildings, I'm currently deciding on. I think we're gonna do. You know, like uh, how like up, upper ground province has. Oh, they're short man. Uh, you know, like, uh, above ground province has, like, mounds and areas that, like, there aren't buildings. Yeah. So, since I obviously, I'm not just gonna recreate a mound down here, you know, just for the fun of it. I'm probably gonna end up just putting, like, other skyscrapers there, or, like, monuments or buildings, you know. But other than that, every building that's currently in above ground province will be rebuilt down here. But, uh, there will be more buildings down here than above ground province. Make sense? Kind of thing? Mm-hmm. So it's a copy of Providence, but it's going to have more buildings because we're going to switch out, like, mounds and natural stuff with, uh, you know, just, like, monuments and stuff. New skyscrapers, so that's pretty much where things are at. Uh, let's see. Uh... Hello? Yeah, uh, I'm not sure if you've seen any of it, but it's kind of like a chill stream, uh, working on province underground area, you know what I'm saying?
I'm gonna go a few thousand blocks away. I don't know who this is. Who is Lol the Mao? Bruh. Why do you want to buy an ender chest now? I'm literally deep anarchy. Well, I don't know. Deal with it. Okay, I'll get you an ender chest though. Yeah. Or another I didn't get, but you can decide how you wish to pay. I am deep anarchy, I already said that. Your Spectre? Bruh. A BB. Me a BB for the Curdy. Only that. Bruh. <laughs> I can see your humor is only devolved. That's what I expected. Good stuff. Yeah, guys, I said, I said Toasty is, like, basically, like, old royalty on the server. He's, like, really rich, and he's played the server for months, and he's still richer than, like, everyone, so. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what does the comment say? I literally missed that one. I know all my comments already. Oh, well. I'm sorry, I, t I didn't recognize the username. You got like such a weird janity GG or whatever. Honestly, bro. Minecraft Gamer says hi. Hello, Minecraft Gamer. Are you, uh, you're a true Minecraft Gamer, bro? I don't know, man. We're gonna need to see some real evidence. Bruh. Oh, are you kidding me? Come on, my horse does get better. Oh, you did? Okay. No, I'm not at the villagers. I am coming back from just looking at Shorebound. I went over to him with my horse and just stared at him. I gotta get my horse all the way back. And there's so many rivers here. Why did I do this? You're gonna have to make a bridge. Honestly, Shore, I think I might, I might ban you from the country of province if you don't make a bridge over all these rivers for my horse. 
<laughs> That's a joke, it's a joke. But still, just make them eventually. Huh? No? Just because he left province doesn't mean he still lives there. You can own a country. <laughs> okay. I can own a country. I can live somewhere else. Yeah, he's got uh, he's got a home in in province, but he you know he also runs there. Okay. Except that I don't really have notifications on on my uh, PlayStation, so thanks for reminding me. I would have gotten. <laughs> Man's literally changed his PlayStation username every weekend, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. You got a problem, bro. Okay, your bank account's probably got a problem. I'm not gonna lie. That's also probably true. Uh, I don't know how you do that. Sieg. Oh, Sieg's good. I'm not gonna lie. It probably isn't. I'm putting. I'm gonna put some money down on Siege being bad. I almost killed that horse. My horse almost died, guys. Just write all of your comments in one thing. I like they're coming so fast. Like you're cutting yourself off. Okay, I gotta go back and read this. That would be kind of huge. Siege, siege. No, it doesn't. And invite me. Okay. If I don't care about axolotls, I hate axolotls. They're kind of annoying. Does it matter? You wanna know something? Guess what? All axolotls do like nothing. I know. It's impressive. They look cool. Wow. I don't use them. Pets are so annoying for me. I'm literally gonna kill with my trident every single time I go into the water. What the heck? Why is my, uh... Mm. Stop, bruh. Okay, I literally don't know how to add you to, uh, the province chat. It is not showing that you are on my friends list. This is kind of annoying. Let me get on democracy side so I don't just get, like, executed while I'm AFK. And then I'll be there. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Let me just park my horse over here in this. I don't know. I need to find the parking lot. Who built the parking lot? Okay, I think it's over here unless it's been destroyed. Someone built a parking lot back here for our horses when people still use that on the server. That's definitely anarchy. Jesus. No, he's not on anarchy. Uh, the parking lot's gone, but we'll just... Oh! Oh, okay. ruined portal. Cool. Someone's already been here, though. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay. Let me invite. Uh. Add players. I'm gonna do some 
and the other exactly whose house it is is because it's every soldier he goes to is the exact same house. Who? Uh, could be Bristol or something. Uncut hash brown. Uncut. Where's uncut? Okay, let me receive your comments. <laughs> comments. Pog, 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 pog. That's not my user. What do you mean it's not your user? Spectre, you're not making much sense right now, I'm not going to lie. You've uh, managed to make less sense than normal. Can I be honest? I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Vic sauce? Who doesn't remember Vic sauce? It's like. Uh, put them away because they cause lag. It's the only way to play on the server if any British people join. It's no more map. That big map is gone. Also, countries can no longer expand until that map is up. So, I'm sure I'll put it up later, but for now. Me? Where are you? Why are you walking around in non netherite? Don't you have full netherite armor with mending? Not on this server, I thought you had it. Or no. Okay, Spectre joined. Hello, Spectre. Okay, bruh. Uh, I'll only quickly end stream if I'm gonna get on. What? I'll have to end stream if I'm gonna get on. Get on what? Siege. It's copying the update. Okay. Well, uh, just message me when it finishes copying, and I'll end stream and go join. You got it? Mine's already updated. Uh, bye. Okay, guys. So, what? What? Yeah. Oh yes, yes, yes. I am Ender Chest God, I forgot about that. You know, if you go into someone's house to use Iron Chest, they can kill you. Just so you know. Or if they are on. Depends. If you know that they're not online, you could. Wait, where do you live? Uh. You you gotta put yeah, there's a sign in that room right that's got your username. You didn't know what existed. Wait so uh, how much money do you owe me, sure? Oh yeah, or ten diamonds. I mean, it's, it has to be paid in another right, but, you know. So that'd be 200 iron.
How many diamonds for a piece of nether? Okay, uh, one second, guys. I'm going to. Uh, we've been on for like a while now, so I'm going to quickly uh, restart the server and make a copy of it. Because I've been playing it for like three hours now, so I'd rather not lose like all of that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. But uh, I will restart uh, after I make a copy of it, just so you know. Uh, well, speaking of, I think that's probably going to be it for the stream, guys. Uh, I've been streaming for way too long. Uh, I, don't know, I got on expecting, like, a one-hour, like, mining stream, and then it turned into just streaming for the sake of it. So, yeah, that's going to be... Yeah, that's going to be it for it, guys. Peace out. That's been, like, an hour and a half, almost, like, two-hour stream.